all right hello everybody it's right bird and i am back today with some more video games in my collection we are still in the nintendo family we have today nintendo 64 nintendo gamecube and nintendo ds so let's get started uh first game is 1080 snowboarding this game is a lot of fun i really really love this game if you like snowboarding uh i got pretty far in this I didn't beat it, I don't think. Just just played it quite a bit, and I enjoyed it. All right, and the next game we have is Automobili Lamborghini. A uh, racing game, obviously. I don't believe I played it, but I like racing games, so I might try this. Try to play it. Next game we have is Battle Tanks Global Assault. Never played this game, but it, it looks fun. Mm-hmm. All right, next game we have is Dark Rift. Uh, I don't know what this game is because I have not played it. But if you've played it, let me know. Let me know if you like this game. Let me know if you had it when you were younger. Dark Rift. All right, next game is Duck Dodgers starring Daffy Duck. Uh, I haven't played this at all. I don't know what this is. Most of these games are mixed and with my husband's games. Most of them are mine, most of them are his. Oh, uh, and yesterday I realized that that was not Bugs Bunny on the front of the Looney Tunes. That was Buster Bunny. Uh, I didn't, I got them confused. And next we have F1 World Grand Prix. And I haven't played this, but it looks fun. I like racing games. Might give it a go. All right, next game we have is GoldenEye 007. I love this game. I used to play this all the time with my friends, and I beat it. It was so much fun. Oh my god. The memories in this game. Pierce Brosnan is my favorite James Bond, too. I love his movies. All of his movies. So good. Alright, the next game we have is Glover. And I have a little story to this game. Let me tell you. Uh, when I was younger... And I had my Nintendo 64, and my dad bought me this game, but sadly, it was given away to my nephew without my consent. I tried to not let it be given away to him because I wanted to play it, because I got to play it for like five minutes when I was little, and I wanted to beat it, and I actually bought this last year. In November, uh, it arrived before Christmas. This was my Christmas present to myself. It works. I played it. When... I received it and it was actually back in my hands I actually cried a little because I was so happy um, games mean a lot to me and my dad never really bought me anything and this was the only game that he bought me when I was young and it was given away and I don't even know what happened to my original copy of it but I have it back got it on Amazon from a gaming girl I don't know the name, I forgot, but it was a girl gamer. She sold it to me, and thank you so much to her. Thank you, because I popped it in, and it works, and I'm happy now, so I got it back. It's mine, and it's never going anywhere. Never. All right, the next game is Hey You, Pikachu. I didn't play this. I don't know what this is about. It's so cute though. Oh my gosh. Hello, Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, next game. Hot Wheels. Turbo Racing. I played this thing all the time. I loved Hot Wheels. I was obsessed growing up. I used to have a whole bunch of cars when I was little. And this game was fun. I would play with my little nephew. Most of these games that are mine, I would play with my family or my friends. And this one, wow. If I popped this in, the nostalgia would be hitting me hard. Mm-hmm. Next game is a racing game as well, Lego Racers. Uh, no, did not know I owned a Legos game. This is probably my husband's game. And I haven't tried it at all. Not at all. Actually, I think maybe my mom might have bought me most of these games and gave them to me. I just don't remember because she does buy me a lot of, like, old school games. And I think this one was one of them. Alright, and the next game we have is called Major League Baseball, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. 
it's ripped, so I can't really see. Uh, but I haven't played it. My mom bought me this, but it, it looks cool. I hope it works, because I never played it. Next game, Mario Party, the original. I've actually, we just played this, like, a couple months back. Before my mom had her shoulder surgery. That's another reason why I haven't been streaming that much, because I've been taking care of my mom. Every Wednesday, Friday, I take her to her physical therapy, and I constantly check on her because she had major surgery on her shoulder. But we used to play this all the time. Oh my goodness. This is a great game, though. Classic Mario Party. It's so much fun. Man, hours and hours of fun. And you can even play it by yourself. You don't need anybody because if you don't have any friends. So, <laughs> if you don't have any friends, you can play Mario Party on your own. Well, shit, in these, in these days, you can't even see your friends. So, it mainly things are online. All right, next game is called Perfect Dark. Haven't played this, but wow. It looks good, like, from, it must be a shooting game, looking at the gun on the screen and stuff. Uh, it's rated in for Mature, so, Dark Hunter would like this game. Oh, Snap. It's Pokemon Snap. I used to play this all the time. Didn't find all the Pokemon. Did not. Oh, uh, I wish I did, but I got really, really far, unlocked all the levels, all the way to the end, where you're like, in the stars with the rainbow and it's Mew. Is it Mewtwo and Mew? Like you have to take a picture of Mew and then like you unlock Mewtwo, I believe. I can't really remember, it's been a long, long time. Oh man, this is one of my favorites. Snap my plucks. All right, next game is Pokemon Stadium. And the reason why I'm holding my finger here is because somebody that used to own this game's name's on it and I don't, for privacy, don't want their name shared. So, Pokemon Stadium, this was fun. Battling the Pokemon. I vaguely remember this, though. I don't really remember this, but I know I played it because I played all the Pokemon. Pokemon Snap, this Pokemon, uh, other Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, you know. Alright, next game we have is called Quake. I have not played this. If you've played it, let me know. These games, since I'm digging these out and everything, and I already have all the systems hooked up, I'm going to try to play some of these to see what these are. And maybe even try to stream it. That would be pretty cool. Alright, next game is called Revolt. It's a racing game. I haven't checked it out, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Next game we have is the Rugrats. I love the Rugrats. Grew up watching them. And I played the... I think it's called Rugrats Studio or something for PlayStation 1. I literally, as a child, I was young when I had that game. And I got so pissed off at the game. Because I got so far and I wanted to beat it so bad, I snapped the disc. I took it out of the PS1 and snapped it right in half. Did I feel better for a second? Did I regret it? Yes, because I couldn't play it again and... I didn't have any money to buy another one. So, don't break your shit. You'll regret it. Because I did. <laughs> Next game we have is my favorite little guys. South Park. I love South Park. I just... This game, I made it really far. And, like, you can piss on snowballs and throw them at people. That's mainly what you do. You play as Cartman. And you just go around and, like, there's giant turkeys that you have to kill. And then, like, little, little baby turkeys. And I made it really far, but I kept dying. And, man, they've come a long way from this game to Stick of Truth and Fractured Butthole. <laughs> Fractured Butthole. All right, next we have Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I haven't played this. I like Star Wars, uh, the games. I really haven't seen the movie. I did when I was really young, but I don't remember it. I'd have to revisit. But, yeah. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Okay, and the next game we have is Super Mario 64. I never got into this, but I've seen, like, Jacksepticeye play it, and PewDiePie, and Markiplier, and it looks fun. I, as a kid, it was too hard for me. I didn't understand what the hell I was doing, but maybe as an adult, I could, like, figure it out. So I might play this, because it's a classic, and I think it's... 
pretty much people's favorites when it comes to the 64. Besides Mario Party. I don't know. Let me know. 64? Mario 64? Or Mario Party? Let me know. Huh? Alright, next we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. This game is so much fun. This was one of my favorites. I used to have to... Like, you have to collect the videotapes and they're hidden. And then you have to spell out skate, I think. Collect the S-K-A-T-E's. Uh, and do tricks on top of it. And I got really, really far in this. Uh, I probably still have saved data for these. Because I do have my original memory card from when I was young. So, pop this bad boy in and see how far I got. Alright, next game is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I played number one more. Because this one, I don't think I played it. I'm not sure. Uh, I think my mom might have bought me this. To be honest but later in life, so I didn't have time. I was like, hey, why are you buying me a Nintendo 64 game when I have a PS2? Nobody wants to play that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I didn't play any of these, because I already had in the future systems. That's I think that's why. Next game we have is War Gods. Uh, don't know what this is, but it looks cool. War Gods. Hell yeah. I gotta, I gotta test all these out, make sure they work. I do. If not, I know how to clean them. Uh, these probably came from, like, a thrift shop. People just like, I don't want this no more. Toss it in the bin. Take it to the Goodwill, babe. I don't want this game. <laughs> it's old. It's trash. It's treasure to me. Alright, and the next game we have is WCW NWO Revenge. Looks good. I haven't played it. It's a wrestling game. I wonder what the graphics look like. I don't have cable anymore, so I can't watch WWE, but I love it. Alright, and that concludes all of the Nintendo 64 games. And now we are going to be moving on to the GameCube. Nintendo GameCube. Alright, on to Nintendo GameCube. First game is Crazy Taxi. The title fits the game. You're just a crazy ass taxi, taxi driver. And you just cause mayhem and chaos. And get your people to their destination as fast as you can. And as crazy as possible. Alright, and the next game is... Jeremy McGrath, McGrath Supercross World. It's actually in a Simpsons Hit and Run case because I don't have a case for this and I don't know where the Simpsons Hit and Run is, but it stays safe in there. So, Jeremy McGrath Supercross World. Never played it, but it's a motorcycle game. Rosen. All right, and the next game we have is Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Oh, this game's fun. It's two players, and it's fun to play with another person. I had a blast with this when I was younger, and I'm glad I, I have a copy of it still. All right, and the next game we have is a Mario Kart Double Dash. I don't have the original case for it. It's just a... And then it's just like a... It's a used copy. But it came with the bonus disc, but I also have, this is another copy of Mario Kart Double Dash. I have two copies of Mario Kart Double Dash. They both work, and I have the bonus disc. I just don't have an original case for them. So I have a, thank God I have a second Super Mario Sunshine, because it keeps it safe. And next game we have is Mario Superstar Baseball. The CD's pink. It's so cute. Uh, I used to play this with my mom all the time. Man, I remember getting this at the mall. And we played it. And, man, this game is so much fun to play. It even has a storyline and everything. You don't need two player. But it is really, really fun to play. And you can steal bases. And there's mini games and everything. This one is, the for sure, so much fun. You'd have so much fun playing this. All right, next game is not um, Super Smash Bros. This is just safely protected in there again. Uh, this is Naruto Clash of Ninja. And I haven't played it, but 
it looks fun. I watched Naruto all the time, and I love anime, so might have to check that out. Okay, next team that I have. I don't have one, not two, but three copies of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. I don't know why I have three copies, um, <laughs> but I do. Well, I have three copies of Spyro uh, Enter the Dragonfly, so that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if all three copies work. I don't know. I'd have to test them out. I'm sure they do. But that's pretty cool. You want one of these? <laughs> you want one? Subscribe. I'll, I'll give you one. <laughs> I'll do a giveaway. Spyro. GameCube. Okay, and the next game I actually do have. I have two books of these or whatever. Not books, but two cases of these. And probably do have two books. I don't know if the other one had one. Super Mario Sunshine. This game's so much fun. I loved this one. It... Man, having to figure out how to teleport to the other world, like, that was a pain in the ass. Because I didn't have internet back in the day, so you couldn't just, like, look up, hey, what do you do? And I beat this game, and a lot of people don't like it, but I did. Man, I would love to play this again, just for nostalgia purposes, because it is great. It's a great game. Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, next game we have is... Universal Studios theme parks. Uh, let me turn that around. Universal Studio theme parks. There she is. Uh, I never played this. I don't know what this is. Let me look at the back. Oh, yeah, there's Woody the Woodpecker. Wait, it's a VIP ticket to the theme park adventure. Oh, cool. So I, I guess you just tour the theme park. That's that's pretty cool. E.T.'s on the front. Over here. <laughs> E.T.'s right there. No. Hey, there is a T right there. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong E.T. <laughs> oh man yeah but i should probably play this check it out all righty then let me know what you think about these i do have this case there's nothing in it uh crash the wrath of cortex <laughs> i not only had it for ps2 but i had it for gamecube um we actually have a case that contains gamecube games and it's somewhere around here couldn't find it but i probably do have more gamecube games probably all the ones that weren't in the case like the simpsons hit and run and crash and um probably the other super mario sunshine those are probably all in that little tiny case so i do have the covers in those cases it's just in a case like the nintendo ds so you have a nintendo ds case which those are the games we're going to be moving on to next. This is empty because I have it all prepared, but I keep my games in here. I don't keep them in the original thing because they're safer a little bit in there. <laughs> all right. Well, that concludes Nintendo GameCube, and I will, be back, I will be back with Nintendo DS in a second. All right. So the first Nintendo DS game is Brain Age. It's not in there. It's right here. Brain Age. You can see it. It's a really tiny little chip. Uh, this game is fun. I love it. You can test your brain out. And you play so many games. Math. Oh. Uh, is it mainly math? I think it's like almost mainly math. You can speak into it and stuff. Your answers. Or whatever. Train your brain in minutes a day. This game. This game's fun. All right, and the next game we have is Brain Age 2, a sequel to Brain Age number one. Oh, these are fun. That's why I bought number two. You train your brain and you get smarter. <laughs> Helps you with math and English, all that good stuff. Uh, reflexes, I believe. And I really, I love these. When I get into my Vita games, which I have PS Vita games, I will talk about smart as called smart as it's another brain training game it's really fun so if you like to learn and you want to sharpen your memory or anything your math skills up get some brain age okay next game i don't have the case for it because i bought this used on i think ebay many many years ago guitar hero on tour decades it goes with your nintendo ds i don't know where the little guitar plugin is at 
but you have here's my nintendo ds it's the blue one it's probably not the cleanest right now because i've been touching it and moving it all around ow i just pinched my finger um you open this up and i think you take this off and you get the little guitar thing and you actually hold it and strum and use the little clickers and it's a lot of fun but it's a pain in the ass because it's not like a real guitar it's a really tiny handheld thing all right and the next game is mario and luigi bowser's inside story there it is a little baby thing this game was fun my mom bought me this probably for my birthday and i got super duper far in it i didn't beat it though i know that sadly <laughs> I'd like to play this again. Everything works, so. Alright, next game. Mario Kart DS. Little baby chip. Oh, this is fun. This is a racing game. And it's... Man. I played this a lot. On, on my Nintendo DS. And I don't know how far I got. I don't remember. But it's a lot of fun. Because racing. Racing games are so much fun. Okay, next game is Super Mario 64 DS. It's actually the only one in the, like, the little sleeve thing that came with my cover. I don't know what happened to all the other ones, but there she is. It's hard to see because they're so tiny. But I didn't play this. I think this... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's Super Mario 64. So is that like... A remake of the 64 one? I have no idea because I didn't play the one on the 64 <laughs> either that much. I wasn't I wasn't that good at playing it. Alright, next game. I don't have a case for it. But this is Pokemon Diamond version. Nintendo DS. Oh, I didn't play this. This is my husband's DS game, I believe. Or it was given to me. No, the, all these games are mine. So, I don't know where this came from. My mom might have bought it for me, and I didn't ever really play it. So, I don't really know what it's about. I know it has Pokemon, and I, I do love Pokemon, so I should probably check this out. Actually, there we go, Pokemon Diamond. I had to, like, restart this. It wasn't picking it up. Well, this really is Pokemon Diamond. You hear stories about how people buy DS games and they just have like a sticker on it and it's not the game. Like, oh, I bought Pokemon Diamond. No, you didn't. You bought, you bought like Brain Age or something. Well, well, that concludes that. Uh oh, Pokemon. I was playing it for a little bit. It, it works. All right, next game we have is The Sims 2 Apartment Pets. It's backwards. There we go. It's upside down. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's there. The Sims 2 Apartment Pets. Oh, I love this game. I love The Sims. You have no idea how much I love The Sims. I have a lot of their games. I have a lot of the computer games as well. Pop her in. Listen to that sweet old startup sound. All right, well, that concludes this video, all of the games that I did today. If you have any of them or want to play any of them, let me know. Let me know which one's your favorite, which system you like best out of all these. The little handheld Nintendo DS, the GameCube, or a Nintendo 64. Uh, but I will be back, so hopefully I will see you next time, and you have a great day. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.